Hey mamas, I'm no yogi, but I do love yoga and more importantly, I love taking care of my body. So today I'm sharing with you a few of my favorite stretches that come out to be a really great workout. I'm really excited about this one because I know that after a long week, I want like a relaxing workout, especially if I've been doing a lot of really hard exercises. It's good to just stretch and get my mind in the right place. So we were really just excited. talking about running and how much you get tight after long runs, especially as new moms. I feel like it hits your body a little bit harder. Yeah, so I'm really excited. Yeah. Let's get to it. Yeah. All right, for the first stretch, we're just gonna open your legs really wide. Uh, the distance is really up to you. You wanna be comfortable. You don't wanna be forcing your legs out too wide, but you also don't wanna be too stiff either. So just relax nice and wide, turn your toes and knees out just slightly. We're gonna reach up overhead and take it over to the right. Now when you do this, you're gonna to wanna to cock your hip over to the same side that your hands are. So you're creating a nice C curve in your body. Right. We're just gonna stretch here, opening up the rib cage. You feel that? That no, one feels good. Feels so good. Just take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, and then we're gonna switch sides. Now in all of these stretches, you're just gonna hold it for as long as you want to and how long you're comfortable with. Some days I wanna hold it a lot longer. Sometimes I just wanna do a quick stretch, it's up to you, but it does feel really nice just to hold it, taking nice deep breaths in and out. Now I've noticed that one side is definitely tighter than the other. Is that normal? That's really normal, depending on how you hold your baby or what you're lifting during the day, diaper bag and all that. So yeah, you might wanna hold the tighter side a little bit longer. All right, so we're gonna drop down into a runner's lunge, but we're gonna have the back knee on the ground. All right, from here, knees and toes are gonna to face forward and we're just gonna lunge forward, stretching out the hip flexor of the back leg. Oh, yeah. Feels so good. Oh yeah. Again, you don't wanna to try to overstretch, um, but just enough to where you really feel a good stretch here. All right. What we're gonna do is flex the back foot, transition to the next exercise. We're gonna sit back on this heel and flex the front foot. Now stretching the hamstring of the front leg. again and stretch the hip flexor again so I'm pushing my hip forward you are yeah. straight forward and trying to make sure that the knee isn't really passing the toe you don't want to put any strain here at all if you need to you can take this foot out in front of you a little bit more flex the back foot take a seat on the heel and stretch the hamstring for a deeper stretch you can grab your toes and pull them towards your chest you'll feel that a little bit more in the calf okay so we would do the same thing on the other side. All right, going into a frog stretch. So this one uh, doesn't really look all that nice, but it's a killer stretch. Try it, try me on this one. You're gonna take your knees apart and then turn your feet out. And we're gonna come down to your elbows from here, we're just gonna slide our knees out as wide as we can, trying to keep your knees into a 90 degree. So you might have to keep walking your feet out a little bit and then just sinking your pelvis down into Ooh. the mat. Oh my gosh, this stretch, oh, y'all. Oh goodness. <laughs> this stretches everything. I don't think you realize how tight you are until yeah. you do this. So if you wanna make this one a little bit more challenging, you wanna set your weight back just slightly. And now to get out of this one, there's a trick. You've got to put your belly on the ground and then take your legs behind you and close. Yeah, because otherwise it'd be really hard to get out of that one. <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna go into a downward dog to a pigeon. So let's start in a downward dog, driving your heels to the floor. So giving yourself a nice uh, calf stretch. Press your chest towards your thigh. And as you come forward, we're gonna bring a knee in and sit right into our pigeon. You can take your head back for a deeper stretch. I get really tight in the glutes, and you're stretching the glutes here. All right, you're gonna flex your back foot and we'll just step back into the downward dog. And then other leg, you're gonna pull that other knee in. Oh yeah, right there. 